Would you like to make the most out of your crank miner? The one you're currently using for dual mining of helium and crank? How about installing several more miners from other projects to generate more cryptocurrencies with the same equipment and without spending more electricity? Well, stick around until the end, because that's what today's video is all about. I'm going to show you how, in addition to Helium and Crank, you'll also be able to mine Phil, the native token of Filecoin, by installing Filecoin Station. If you're watching this video, it's because you have the technical capabilities to flash the Crank operating system onto one of the Lorawin hotspots currently compatible with the project. Therefore, the explanations I'll provide during the video will assume a certain level of technical understanding on your part. Now, as you know, Crank is a software that can be installed on any compatible Lorawin gateway. In most cases, current Crank users were previously Helium Miner users who have decided to enroll their existing devices in Crank to optimize profits, as it allows us to mine Helium and Crank simultaneously natively. What many don't know, and what I'm here to tell you about in today's video, is that the Crank operating system and the one used by Helium miners in general are based on adapted versions of Linux. The advantage of Linux is that being an open source operating system, it allows anyone with the necessary technical knowledge to develop or install applications on it, thereby optimizing the hardware resource utilization of the equipment without affecting the performance of other systems. And in that regard, we have a great ally, Docker. Docker is a software platform that enables the creation, testing, and installation of applications quickly and in isolation from the rest of the system, thanks to its container technology. Without delving too deeply into technical details to avoid prolonging the video excessively, we'll say that Docker containers are like isolated spaces within a machine where software can run without affecting other software installed on that machine. So, if something goes wrong or if we simply want to remove it, we only need to stop the relevant service and delete the container, without affecting any of the other software running on that machine. With all of the above clear, the idea of the video is to use Docker to install mining software from other crypto projects on our crank miners. This would allow us to perform triple, quadruple, or even quintuple mining with just one piece of hardware and practically the same electricity consumption, which as you know is very low. Among the projects that can be mined using Docker within a crank miner, we have Filecoin Station, Grass, Presearch, Mysterium, etc. Without going into explaining what each of these projects consists of, as I leave that research task to you, today I'm going to show you how to install Filecoin Station on your crank miner via Docker. Although the process would be the same for the rest of the projects, with the differences being the specific peculiarities of each. So, let's start with the installation of Filecoin Station. Well, the first thing to do is to open a terminal, for which we need to connect via SSH to our hotspot. You can do this either through Windows PowerShell or using third-party software. In my case, I am used to working with PuTTY, which is free and you can download it in seconds from here. The next thing you'll need is to know the local IP of your miner. This is a step that is assumed you already know how to do, as it is essential for installing and configuring Crank. If you don't remember how to do it, you can find it in the LAN section of your router or through an IP scanner like Advanced IP Scanner, which you can find here. Now, we simply run PuTTY, enter our IP, and connect to our hotspot. The default credentials are shown on the screen. We're in now. To install Filecoin Station, all we need to do is follow the instructions provided on its GitHub for the core version. Basically, it involves running this command, where we find different sections that I will explain to you. The first thing we see is Docker Run, which is used to launch the service installation. Then comes the name we want to give to our service, in this case, it appears as station, but we can change it. In my case, I'll call it file station. Then comes the detach command, which makes the docker container run in the background, so we can continue using the terminal for other purposes. Next is the wallet, which if you notice, they indicate should be of type 0x whatever. Other types of wallets may cause issues for now. Don't worry, this is the wallet you can create in your MetaMask for example, 
with the only peculiarity that to view your fill you'll need to add the Filecoin custom network. Something you can easily do from chainlist.org, for example. Finally, we find the parameter related to the Filecoin station core application image, which is available at that URL, from where it will be downloaded and installed in our container. In the end, the command would look something like this. Well, as it stands, it would require executing it every time the machine restarts. Something we don't want, as we want Phil to be mined without our intervention. To do this, we'll add something of my own, which is the restart always command after detach. So it finally looks like this. This way, the service will be launched with each restart without the need to run it manually. Well, with all the parameters correctly configured in the command, we simply paste it into PuTTY and hit enter. And, as we can see, the download of the file station core image begins, as well as its decompression and installation. We wait for it to finish, and once that happens, we would already be mining fill on our crank miner. That is to say, at this point, we would already be triple mining crank, helium, and filecoin. To verify that the filecoin service is running, we execute this command, whereas we can see, it indicates that it has been running for few seconds. To check the accumulated rewards and the jobs executed, we use this command where we ask Docker to show us the last 10 logs of the service that we have named file station in my case. You will have to adapt it to the name you gave when launching the installation. As you can see, in my case, it tells us that I have all this fill accumulated, but that's because I included the same MetaMask wallet in the installation that I use for other instances of Filecoin station running on other machines. In your case, if it's the first time, it will take you a few days to reach values like these. So be patient. And with that, we've reached the end of today's video. I hope you found the provided information interesting and that you can make the most of it. If you want to review the information again, feel free to pause the video or take a screenshot if needed. In the description, you'll find all the links to the applications and services mentioned in the video. Additionally, I'll leave you the discount codes and links to the Deepin projects I'm currently investing in, in case you want to take advantage of them. Using them will not only save you a few dollars when joining them, but it will also serve as indirect support to the channel. Thank you in advance if you decide to take advantage of them. Without further ado, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for joining us until the end. See you in the next one.